2015. you little rascal. It's a Luna. Say hi Luna. Say hi. It's a Luna. 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 Hi everybody. How's it going? I am here to talk to you about New Year's resolution. I get really excited about the new year. Clean slate. You can start over fresh. I get very motivated. How am I going to change my life? What resolutions am I going to make this year? Oh, did I notice you looking at my shirt? Yeah, I know it's pretty glorious. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of my resolutions. Number one has to do with you guys. I'm really hoping that I can gather some more subscribers over this next year that I could really just be motivated and stay on this and, and get videos up for you guys. Resolution number two, self-discovery. Luna. I just plan to look more into myself. I know being a mom, all you moms out there can probably relate, or you dads, when you have kids, it's hard for it to not just become about the kids. Or sometimes if you're just a couple, it can be hard not to let your life become all about the boyfriend or all about the husband or all about the girlfriend or the wife. And I am working to work on myself a little bit more. A little bit more introspection. Is that a word? Look more into myself. Improve some things about myself. Like, oh man, should we make a list? I have no patience. I'm... Let's not make a list. I might embarrass myself. But yeah, I just, I want to work more on me, my passions, which kind of ties in with this YouTube thing. Yeah, I'm just going for it. Number three, as I mentioned in my first video, fitness. Mm. Being pregnant, you put on a couple extra pounds. <laughs> with my first, it was by a few extra pounds. I mean more like in the ballpark of like... <laughs> we'll just say it was a lot of extra weight. But the goal for me is once this baby's born is to get rid of that weight so I can be healthy. And it's not even so much about the number on the scale for me, it's how I feel. And I want to get back into my workout routine. I'm going to be back into eating cleaner. And resolution number four, get organized. This is something that I am constantly, constantly trying to work on. It's a big struggle for me. ADHD has a little bit to do with it. Just the fact that it's hard to stay organized has a lot of bit to do with it. I just, getting organized. So as for tips as to how we keep up with these resolutions, the biggest key is following your tips and tricks to keeping your resolutions because you can have this great list of ways that you're gonna keep them, but if you don't follow that list, then it's kind of pointless. I have failed at New Year's resolution keeping in the past, <clears throat> 2014. Number one, write it down. You want it somewhere where you can see, and I don't mean like, oh, let's scribble it down with a pen. I mean, get your Sharpies out and write it nice and big in a list. And after you make that list, put it somewhere that you can see it. I personally like to keep mine in the bathroom. Seems a little odd, but I post it right up by the mirror. It's right there in my face, so it's a little bit hard to ignore. I see it every day, and then it's just a constant reminder. Hey, Shayna, get your button gear. It's time to get those resolutions taken care of. So number two is tell somebody. I'm already taking care of that right now. I'm telling all of you. But also, I have told my husband my resolutions. We do this every year, and we have found that it's something we actually look forward to, and we make our lists together, and we make each other aware of what our goals are, so then we constantly have somebody who's like, you know, you said you were gonna not get fat this year, and I see you're eating that big package of Oreos. Maybe you wanna cool it down. It's just a really helpful thing when somebody is there that knows of your goals that can kind of keep you accountable. And number three, this is probably the most important and the thing that I fail with the most, is to be positive. I constantly, when I mess up at anything, I will beat myself up. And that is probably the most destructive thing you can do. If you feel like you're not accomplishing your goals in the amount of time that you want, don't beat yourself up. I have a habit of 
going full force into something but then as time starts to pass sometimes it's only days i kind of lose steam and i kind of lose motivation that will mess up your goals for keeping your resolutions in a lot of aspects of life being positive is really 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 important so those are a couple of my resolutions those are a couple tips that i have of things that i've found or i've heard could be great for helping keep resolutions. I hope they can be helpful to you. Good luck with your New Year's resolutions. Make that list out and let's make 2015 a great year. Luna.